in this lecture we are going to learn about periodic functions okay so period a periodic function means a function that repeats itself after certain value okay so for example if we see the famous example of sin x okay so sin x it is something like this okay 0 this is pi by 2 pi and this is 2 pi and this is of course 3 pi by 2 okay so this is its this is how the function looks like in 0 to 2 pi now if we plot the same function from 2 pi to let's say 4 pi so this is 3 pi and this is 4 pi so again it will follow the what it will follow the same structure okay so this is 4 pi and this one is 3 pi okay so this is just the replica of what was there in 0 to 2 pi that is what it is there shifted in 2 pi to 4 pi and similarly here also it is the same so minus pi minus 2 pi so we see that f of x is equal to what so if we see so f of x is equal to f of x plus 2 pi okay so hence this sin x is periodic with period 2 pi okay but what is the period one thing is so the smallest value of t greater than 0 such that f of x plus t is equal to fx okay so the smallest value of t for which this is true that fx plus f of x plus t is equal to fx is called the period of that function okay so now why we are taking that t is the least value okay so let's see if we extend like this so what happens is let's see so this is also periodic if i take from minus 2 pi minus 4 pi so this is also same as the so minus 4 pi to 0 the function is replicating itself in 0 to 4 pi so sin x is also periodic if f of x plus 4 pi is equal to f of x and also f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x but it is the least value of t greater than 0 so it is 2 pi for which this repeats itself the function so that is called the period now one more property that you should know is that if fx is periodic with period t is greater than 0 then f of ax plus b where a is greater than 0 is also periodic and its period is t by a okay so these are the things you have to remember and now we will look at some examples okay so of course some of the simplest examples are if fx is sine of x okay then its period is 2 pi as we saw in the figure if f of x is cos of x then its period is also 2 pi but if fx is tan of x then its period is pi so let's see why it is so so tan x if we see so tan x tan of 0 is 0 and then what happens at so if we see the circle so this is tan x is o of so m and p if we have so this is x angle then tan of x is m p by o p okay so m p by o p so now when x is 0 so op is 1 and mp is 0 so at 0 tan 0 is 0 at pi by 2 what happens this mp is now equal to the length of the radius of the circle 
and op becomes 0 so it tends to be infinity so at pi by 2 it becomes infinity now what happens let's say c between pi by 2 and pi so this is now becoming op is negative and very small it's tending to 0 and mp is 1 so it becomes suddenly minus infinity and at pi again the value of mp is 0 so it becomes 0 so it is something like this okay so this is about tan x and if we see again so for pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi so again we see it is following the same thing hence we say that it is periodic with period pi okay so similarly now what can we say then cosec x is also periodic with period 2 pi sec of x is periodic with period pi and cot of x is periodic with period pi okay so now let's solve one question